Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to build a webcam QR code attendance system in C Sharp. And this project is going to be based on our previous tutorial, a webcam barcode scanner. And actually it was not only scanning for barcodes, it was also scanning for QR codes. So please make sure you check that video out. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. As you can see, this is the form that we created before and just a quick recap of what we were doing. We were grabbing the feed from our webcam whenever we click on the start button right here and it displays in this picture box right here. And whenever we wanna stop the feed, we click on the stop button right here. So what we're gonna do now is actually go to our SQL server because we wanna create a database and two tables to store our um, attendance info or log them. So we're gonna wanna open the SQL server and log into your server. And then in the databases, you wanna right click here and cl click on new database. And then you're gonna give your database a name, I'm gonna name it QR underscore codes. And then click the OK button. Okay, once your database is created, you want to expand this um, this database right here and right click on tables, cl click on table to create a new table. So actually this is going to be um, the table for employees or students or persons, whatever you want to name it. So we're going to need an ID column. So let's type in here ID and it's going to be int and right click on this field right here and set it as a primary key. And then we're gonna wanna have a name for the employee. So we're gonna type in name, which is going to be Vartar50 and uncheck allow nulls because we wanna enter a value actually for the name. Okay, so now we're done with this table. If you wanna add um, other details, feel free to add them. I'm just gonna um, go with this. So I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna name it employees. Click okay. And here we go. We created our employees table. So we wanna right click on tables again to create a new table, which is going to be a log table, which is actually going to log the ID of the employee along with the, um, the current time stamp. Okay, to just keep track of when we scan the QR code and when we inserted the data in this table. So we're gonna type in here um, employee underscore ID, which is going to be a foreign key um, to our employee table. So in the data type, we're gonna make it int. We're gonna uncheck allow nulls. And we're going to create here a column that we're gonna name timestamp and its data type is going to be date time and we're going to uncheck allow malls and we want to go to the column properties in the default value or binding and we just want to type in here get date which is actually a method that's going to return the current um, server date time stamp whenever we insert an employee id in this table so what we're going to want to do now is actually save the table i'm going to name it log so now we have two tables. We have the log table and we have the employees table. And we said that this employee ID is going to represent um, or going to be a foreign key to the uh, employee ID in the employee table. So to make this relationship, we're gonna right click on this field right here and go to the relationships. And then we're gonna wanna add and renew a new relationship right here. And in the tables and columns specification, we want to click on this button right here. So we're going to select um, the field in our primary key table. So the primary key table is going to be employees table and the key is going to be the ID. And in our foreign key table, which is log, the, uh, the foreign key is going to be the employee ID. And then let's click on OK, close, and let's save our um, log table. Yes. Okay. 
So now we're good. We created our foreign key relationship. And what's next is actually inserting the data inside the employees table. So we're going to want to expand these tables right here and right click on employees and click on edit top 200 rows. And then we're going to enter an ID. So I'm going to enter one, two, three, four, and I'm going to name this Basil. And let's add another employee, which is for example, one, two, three, four, five, which is going to be maybe ECMO. So right now we have two records in this employees table. So what we're going to want to do is actually whenever we scan the QR code that has the ID one, two, three, four, we want to insert this ID inside our log table so that it's inserted one, two, three, four, along with the current timestamp whenever this QR code was scanned. So in order to do this, we're going to move to our visual studio right here and we want to right click on our um, form and go to view code. So this is actually the code that we created in the last tutorial. And as you can see right here in the worker do work function, we actually try to decode the QR code or the barcode. And whenever we successfully decode this text or I mean this QR code, we just display a message box to the user right in here. And instead of displaying this message, we actually want to um, log this QR code inside our database. So what we're going to want to do is actually use a uh, library to do that. So right here, we want to type in here using system dot data dot SQL client. And um, right here in our class variables, we actually want to declare a string that is going to represent the connection string to our database. So we're going to want to type in here string con underscore string, which is going to be equal to some value that we're going to get right now. So we're going to need um, our server name for forming the connection string. So we want to go to the SQL server again. And uh, let's just right click on our QR codes um, database in the properties. And we're going to go click on view connection properties. And then we're going to find in here um, our server name. So we want to copy this server name and close this cancel. Go back to our Visual Studio, go to the server explorer. And we want to actually right click on this um, data connections and click add connection. And in the server name, we want to paste our server name. And then we're going to select our database, which is going to be QR codes. Let's test the connection and we're all good. Okay. Okay. So now we're connected to this database and we want to select this connection right here and go to the properties and we're going to find the connection string. So we want to copy this connection string and paste it right in this string right here. And if you have a, uh, a backslash, it's actually like a special character right here. So to escape this special character, we have to add another backslash and then we're good to go. So this is our connection string right here. So the next step is actually going back to our um, worker do work method. And then we just want to delete this message box to show because we don't need to display message box right here with the decoded text. Instead, what we're going to do is actually create our SQL connection. So SQL connection, I'm going to name it connection is equal to new SQL connection. And then we give it our connection string, which is in con underscore string. And then we're going to create our SQL command. So SQL command command is equal to connection dot create command. So what we're going to do now is actually open our connection. So connection dot open. And then we need to close it when we finish. So 
we're going to type in here connection dot close. And in between, we're going to execute our insert query. So what we want to do is actually type in here command dot command text is equal to and then type in our SQL query, which is going to insert the decoded barcode, uh, the decoded QR code into our log table. So insert into dbo dot log, which is our table's name. And we want to insert actually in the employee underscore ID um, field. So employee underscore ID. And then we want to insert values. And then right here, we're going to make an SQL parameter, which is at employee underscore ID, which is going to be inserted into our database. So the next step is actually adding this um, SQL parameter to our command parameters. So command dot parameters dot add with value. And first the parameter name, which is at employee underscore ID, and then its value, which is actually going to be the decoded underscore text, right? Okay. So now we're done with our query. So what we're going to want to do now is actually execute this query. So we're going to type in here command dot execute non query. And this, um, this method actually returns the number of rows affected. So what we're going to do is actually check for this return. So if command dot execute non query is greater than zero, which means that we actually inserted, um, some rows into our data, into our table. So what you're going to want to do is display a message. So message box dot show. Um, maybe attendance was successfully recorded for ID. And then we're going to want to put in here the decoded underscore text, right? Okay. If we scan a QR code that is actually representing an ID, which is an employee stable, then we're good to go. It's going to insert this value into our log table. But if we scanned a wrong QR code or an ID that is not inside uh, the employee's table, then we're going to have an SQL exception. So right before this catch exception statement, we're going to type in here catch and then SQL exception. So whenever we have an SQL exception, then there is something wrong. It means that we scanned a wrong QR code. So we want to display this in a message box. So message box dot show. Please make sure you scanned a correct QR code. All right. So I think now we're, uh, we're good to go. So let's give it a try. So I'm going to start our program right here. And we want to click on start button to start or to grab the feed, right? Okay. So we want to grab it from our USB camera. Okay. We're good. So right now we're going to generate a QR code right here, which represents a valid, um, ID in our database. So we have ID one, two, three, four, right. And let's scan this QR code right here. Okay. So as you can see, attendance was successfully recorded for ID one, two, three, four. So if we go back to our database right here and we right click on our DBO, um, dot log table right here and we click on select top thousand rows. Here we go. We have our uh, employee ID one, two, three, four and the timestamp right here. Okay. 
What if we scanned a wrong QR code? For example, let's add um, some random digits right here and let's try to scan this. Please make sure you scan the correct QR code. Okay, let's, uh, let's enter one, two, three, four, five, which is the other employee that we have. Let's scan it. And then attendance was successfully recorded for ID one, two, three, four, five. And let's go back and re-execute this query right here. And as you can see, the both of the records are added and of course you can create you can make an sql query to uh to join this table with the employees table feel free to do whatever you want so i guess that's it for this tutorial guys and uh thanks for watching